Good morning, everybody. Got a few things to show you this morning. Uh, you might notice, got on my little jacket. It is in the about mid 50s this morning. I've uh, been out here for a couple hours, so starting to warm up a little bit. I've switched to wintertime headgear. Even though my hat that I love so much has got the vents up top, it's just too hot in the summertime to wear this one. Here, that leather just, it's just too hot. But we're into the fall now. So, uh, got my hat back out, dusted it off a little bit, and ready to go. Now, let's see, I'm going to show you one knife I didn't show you the other day. Gary. Wanted a mini skinner with a belt scabbard. There you go. A crown stag handle. There you go. Ready to skin. And when I get done doing this, I'll check everything for final sharp. Like I always do. And I'll take it into the shipping department, get them all packed up, and I'll head off to the post office a little later today. Now, the extra camp knife I thought was extra, wound up it was extra. Uh, my buddy Jim asked for it first, so Jim, this is coming to you, which is, I think, this one. All these scabbards are the same. Those. There's that one. Uh, Cousin Jay, I'll show you something on that one in just a minute. Redneck Prepper is yours. Your Wallace one with the ferro rod loop you want. That'll take a 3 8 ferro rod. Or if you got a smaller that's not quite 3 8 you can always go in here and put you a stitch, a couple of stitches right there, and tighten that up just a little bit. And it'll take any size smaller rod if you happen to have a smaller one. There you go. And here's your next scabbard for your mini skinner. A little bit different kind of leather. I had some nice brown leather, so I made you one that one out about. There you go. So there's these. All these are going to be sent out today. Excuse me. One more knife I want to show you. I got to make a scabbard for it still. Touch it up a little bit. Y'all heard me give. My brother J. No Zero a hard time about that silly looking kitchen knife he was using to try to let me see, I won't make him mad again. To uh, butcher them fish up. And he told me his fillet knife that I sent him wasn't long enough. So, is that long enough? Now it doesn't have quite the classic fillet shape. But he wanted it to flex, so this one will flex. And the thinner it is, the more it flexes, the more apt it is to break. So I left it a little bit thick, but it's very thin. Now John sent me a big industrial hacksaw blade a couple of years ago, I think it was. And um, I hadn't used that blade yet, so that's what that is. So I'm going to send your hacksaw blade back to you. Got maple handles clear stain on it got a few worm holes and worm marks in the maple I think that's pretty cool now I don't care how big or how wide them stripers are you can fillet them properly with that so <laughs> there you go now what else was I gonna show you oh cousin Jay know how to sharpen the gut hook all right, I'm going to show you right quick. Now, if you, um, I have seen them. People will take these. I know you won't do it, Jay, because you're a deer hunter. People will use these hooks for all kind of stuff. Trying to strip wire, cut rope, and all kind of stuff. That's not what they're for. But, if it gets all boogered up, get you a chainsaw file. Small chainsaw file. And just 
file it back down. Yep, see ya. Uh, move the camera down just a little bit. I want to support it something like that. You get it good and straight. Then come back with your piece of emery paper. Real fine grip, wet dry. Now when you get to buy emery paper or any kind of sandpaper, grinding belts and all that, go ahead and spend a couple extra dollars and get the good stuff. 3M makes a real good, real good on uh, paper. Sanding belts and all that. I order mine offline nowadays. They come from Germany, made in Germany. Very good quality. Now this is not good quality. I don't have any of the good stuff. But this this will work. It just won't work as well. But wrap it around something round. That's just a piece of one of those things we made the tent stakes out of that time, if you remember that. That on there. Just continue down with it. And that will sharpen your point. And when you get to the point where you got a burr back here on this back side, then that's as far as you want to go. Then take your paper very gently. And rub that burr off of it. And that one right there is sharp. You can test it on a piece of paper. If you want to. It's sharp. I'm going to work on it just a little bit more. And also have a little tiny, tiny piece of leather. That will wrap around a round thing. You can strope it with that when you get all done with it, if you want to. So, let's see what else we got. That's hot. Let's see, I got a new project to start this afternoon. Another straight razor I got to get built. And I have a draw knife. A friend of mine wants a draw knife. And just about caught up. I'll be contacting a couple of y'all on some uh, on them big orders to see if get the go ahead. And then I'll start that, and that'll be a whole other thing. Thank you everybody for the comments on the uh, the roof job. Me and Master Sergeant did. We had another project we were going to do right after that, and once we got started on it, it went downhill from the very beginning. So. We got to start that over, and we'll do that one day this week. That's why I put part two, so that'll be the part two when I get to that. Pretty cool little project. Some more salvage and homemade stuff. But we'll get to that. Uh, might even squeeze a fishing day in this week. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to have to wait and see. But, let's see. I haven't had enough coffee yet. My brain's not working. But anyway, remember, Christmas is coming. Get your orders in. And thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And we will see you later.